Ladies and gentlemen, it is my humble duty tonight to introduce you to the grand and imperial wizard of the invisible knights of the Ku Klux Klan, Mr. Bill Wilkinson. Oh, imperial wizard, can you tell me, and us, 100 years after you set the, you, your predecessors, set the South aflame with the cross burnings, lynchings, and uh, other uh, events, you should be bothering this country still. To begin with, I, I believe a, a slight rebuttal is in order for your opening statements or the opening statements that was made about the Klan. We are not anti-Catholic. We are not anti-Semitic. Uh, we believe in the white race. We believe that at this point in time that white Americans are being treated as second-class citizens, that the federal laws, the civil rights laws, have created a dual system of justice in this country a set of federal laws that protects the interest of minorities and local and state laws. But grand and imperial wizard, if I may. Of white people. If now, I may interrupt, <coughs> if I might be so bold as to interrupt the imperial wizard, uh, it says on a uh, sheet that you people hand out to the young and the youths of our high schools, it says, uh, if you want to join the Klan, quote, I swear that I am of white, non-Jewish heritage. Are you fed up with special privileges given to blacks? That's a quotation from your own literature. Absolutely. We are well, a Christian... What do, you mean you're not, what do you mean you're not anti-Semitic? We are a Christian organization. Uh, we also don't allow Buddhists or Muslims or atheists in the organization. When did you take in the Pat Buchanan's? When I was a kid in Dubuque, I was a Ku Klux Klan, which was then fairly powerful in Indiana, about 1922 or three, somewhere in there. Uh, you were anti-Catholic. The Klan has had different views from time to time on, on lesser issues. Mm -hmm. The one issue we've never changed on is, th is that of segregation. Uh, we believe that God has commanded us to separate ourselves from other races. Uh, in fact, that's not a unique stand. Billy Graham, just a few years ago himself, segregated his uh, crusade audiences. He preached segregation. Uh, the Southern Baptist and the, and the National Baptist, one was black, one was white. Mm -hmm. They practice and preach right, segregation. So, so we didn't invent segregation. All we right, just did, still about, believe in it. Let me ask you about something, and, and you did correct it, let me say, before the show started, something I was unaware of. But there are a number of Klan organizations, and I gather it is not yours, who march in tandem, arm in arm, with members of the American Nazi Party. Now, the Nazis were responsible for the murder, not simply of, uh, of Jews in Germany, but American pilots, American soldiers. Uh, they're guilty of all manner of hard atrocities. They have on their, uh, I guess, on their record some quarter of a million American dead. Now, why would any patriotic American, or one who calls himself a patriotic American, be anywhere near the swastika, the insignia of Hitler's Germany? Well, as you conceded before the show, I, mm -hmm. I did clear up that point. The Klan, the Invisible Empire, which I had, uh, detests Nazis as much as we do communists. But I'd like to make one thing clear, that th there's, there's too much hype today about the Germans and the Nazis. Uh, let's not forget that the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, and they led mm -hmm. to death marches in Bataan. Uh, I don't believe that we should condemn all of the Germans for something that happened in Germany 40 not. years ago. And I do condemn what Hitler did uh, to any Why would any patriot, <coughs> someone who calls himself a patriot, and a Klan's groups with which I guess you're associated with members, if not the leadership, why would they march with people who are march under the swastika? We don't. We you don't. don't. Why, do, why do your colleagues Others, do that? I, I believe, to make it clear at first, we're the only national Klan organization left. There have been those that have come and gone. There's, it's, it's sort of like the political parties, mm -hmm. the Democrats, Republicans, mm -hmm. American Independents. They come and they go. They splinter and they, and they regroup and rejoin. Right now, we are the major unquestioned or Klan organization in America. There's some people that we have expelled from our organization that will start other branches. In, in, in their uh, anxiety to get membership right, this, and support, they I will join with anyone, including this Nazis. Is, this is not your organization, doesn't believe that. But I believe a quote by you, I read in a book on the Klan today, uh, you were denouncing the quote, I think it was, Jew-controlled media. Have you used that term? I may have used that it's term. It's a direct quote. I, I may have used that term some years ago. Well, what do you but, mean by that? But as, well, I don't mean by that anything at this point in time. Uh, I believe that, uh, that a lot of Jews are... are 
uh, prominent in the media, but I believe a lot of Baptists and a lot of Methodists and a lot of other people are. Why would are. you use the term Jew-controlled media? You know? uh, well, it, I mean, you don't run around saying the Baptist-controlled media is keeping us off I, the I don't. I no longer use that term. This has been a number of years ago that I would have made that comment, and I'm not apologizing for what I might have said at that time. All right, let's uh, talk about blacks. All right. Why uh, you anyway, I want to go, I'm, you know, uh, my brother came back from airborne Vietnam, and he told me, you know, and uh, that of the bodies that he took out as a medical officer, he said, you know, 50% of those guys were black kids, mm -hmm. served in the United States in Vietnam. This was a, you know, it was a crack front line unit. And mm -hmm. these were American blacks who died in higher numbers for their country in Southeast Asia in that war uh, than did white Americans, as a matter of fact, in the Vietnam War. Now, how, I mean, how can you be against a race which contains people who are out there fighting for their country just as much as white, Christian, Protestant Americans are. That's something else that needs to be cleared up, Pat. We're not against the black mm -hmm. race. Uh, we're not against, we believe in free enterprise for this country. We believe mm -hmm. that everyone should have the same rights. Well, right Mr. Now, Wizard, it right, says no, right here, wait a minute, right, Mr. Right Wizard. Now, Let right, me interrupt you I, for a minute, Mr. Wizard. It says you right here, you believe in the final <coughs> solution, which is black repatriation to Africa. Now, Abraham, really Abraham Lincoln, but now look, I'm, not, I'm not going sheet. to be cut off in but the you, No, of, but I'm not going to be shut bed. off either. You're running around on a bed sheet. I don't have the bed sheet. But I just want to tell you, can you ima I want to ask you this question. Can you imagine this country repatriating all the black Americans that Pat just spoke about to Africa? No. I mean, what kind of nonsense No, I can't. That? Well, I what sure are you saying can't. it for then? I'm not saying it. Well, you it says it. right here. No, that's your paper. That's not my paper. That's your paper. I took the no, quote no, and no, wrote no, it no. on this that's, blue That's paper. not my paper. Now, to get is back to it, to get back to it, now, just a minute. I answered your question. Now, I want to finish what I was saying. We feel that affirmative action is discriminating against right, white people, and there is no question about it. Two wrongs don't make a right. Because black people well, were hurt and discriminated against in the past does not justify the discrimination well, now, against white people Mr. now. Wilson, and we're I, asking I for an end to that. Look, I'm against reverse discrimination. Okay, I'm against racial good. quotas. I'm against affirmative action as it's practiced. But you said, when I introduced you, I didn't say that your organization was. I said, historically, to most Americans, you're anti-Catholic and anti-Semitic and racist. In other words, anti-black. You okay. said, we're not anti-Catholic. Right. We're not anti-Semitic. You didn't deny the racist thing. Well, it depends on your definition of racist. What I'm a segregationist, it? okay? Uh -huh. I, I believe that God has commanded me not to mix with other races. Right. How far for that you? reason, for that reason, I want to have schools where I can send my children to a white school. I want to be able to go to, to my white neighborhoods, to white businesses, all right. you those can do things. That. So if that terms me as a that. racist, then I'm a racist. Wait a minute, you can do that, but you can't have tax exemptions in your all-white school. And if well, it's a public school, you, now black kids whose ta parents' taxes pay for that school, they got a right to go to that neighborhood school. Now, if you want an all-white school, all-white academy, you can do that right now. You just don't get a tax exemption for it. You so say, what's your complaint? You say you can do that. Now, maybe I can. Maybe you can. But what about the poor people that don't have the money to send their mm -hmm. children to private schools? They can't. They're being deprived the right to practice their religion because they don't have the money to send them to a private school. Mm -hmm. There's no reason why in this great land of ours we mm -hmm. couldn't have a three-tiered school system a black school and a white school and an integrated school and give everyone their choice. We would have much less dissension, we would have much less racial problems in the schools, and if those people that are, are seeking to integrate the races in this country really were, were seeking to do the best for both races, they would adopt this system and, and, and let integration proceed right, gradually. What do, you, what, do you think our, uh, what do you think our founding fathers meant when they said, we the people of the United States? Well, I, I won't get into that debate, but... Well, I, I know, but you're sitting here in your bed sheet telling us all that the, the only thing you're for, you're against... You're really upset see. about my bed oh, sheet, Oh, yeah, you? I think, you know, <laughs> I, I, if I were you, I would be so ashamed of myself. I, I mean, I can't imagine walking around in that silly costume telling people to be against blacks and have against ever, Jews. Have you ever seen the Pope and the Cardinals in their costumes? Yeah, but they're religious and they're for something, and you're just nothing but against something, and you're no, against we, the I very spirit in, of I this country. I believe in the same God you're that against the, Pope the does. thing. No, we're you're not. against the thing that makes this no. country a unity you're, and that makes this country great. And I... I think you're. I think you're a disgrace. You know nothing about what I believe and what I, I just stand heard for. what you believe. You, and and you you think. Now you wrong? tell me. You I believe in God. Is that wrong? Do you deny that you said this? That you, this is the literature you're hand, handing out to schools to school children in America? I just quoted this from your own pamphlet. Are you fed up? It says here with blacks following you home, trying to beat you up. That's Do you right. deny that you said that? No, I don't. And let me tell you, that happens more times in America than what you can shake Blacks? a stick at. Blacks. 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 Try to follow you home and beat you up. I mean, We've had really. more racial You're problems. You're a damn disgrace to the country. No. 
No oh, doubt. yes, you are. I have a strong belief. And you know in what? Fact, you people in, in were fact, beaten, 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 beaten. I don't know what we're doing in 1982 talking to you. Well, that's your problem, Tom. But let me tell you one thing. I'm not beaten, the Klan is not beaten, and the white race is not beaten. No more than the Democrats is beating or the Republicans is beaten. They're all fighting for the things that they believe in, and we believe in something. All right, what and do you believe in? we're earnestly through the law. Right, well, let's get now, you tell me what you were against. What do you believe in? What we believe in. What are you in. for? We believe in God, we believe in the United States of America, and we believe that God has commanded us to separate ourselves from other races. Not because we hate the other races right. or because we feel that we're better or worse, but we're because we feel it's God's commandment. And if you criticize that and our religion, then you're criticizing the Christianity for the last 2,000 years.